Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and here we have a game between EG Machine, the pink Zerg on the bottom of Metalopolis, and Phoenix from Fnatic MSI over on the right side. Phoenix is actually Peruvian, just like Katz, and he's actually a Terran player though, not like Katz. And Machine is from the United States. Both of these guys are very good players, we've seen them quite a lot, both in the beta and in retail. Machine actually most recently got to the quarterfinals of the EG Masters Cup Series and actually had a top 10 finish at MLG Dallas. Phoenix, on the other hand, won the Intel Extreme Masters North American Championship in New York City a couple of months ago, and since then he's been to BlizzCon, he's been to DreamHack in Sweden, and actually just recently won a very large prize pool tournament in Mexico. He actually had to fly to Mexico to play in it, and he and his teammate Fnatic TT1 actually took first and second in that tournament and both got a, a few thousand dollars for their efforts. That tournament didn't actually get a lot of coverage, though. I'll try to find some information and put a link in the description for all that stuff. It was really a lot of uh, Central and South American players, and Phoenix and TT1 were really kind of the only players that I even recognized on the uh, player list. So really, just a great opportunity for them to go smash some noobs and get some uh, easy money. And it looks like they did have to pause when the game was actually played, but now all that is settled. Obviously, there's no lag in the replay, which is nice for us as viewers. And this replay is a bit old. Uh, I'm not sure what actual tournament they're talking about here. TL, probably one of the Team Liquid Opens uh, from a while back. Machine is going to take a fast expand here at his natural instead of that spawning pool first. So uh, he knows that Phoenix is at this close position, and he still chooses hatch first. Phoenix, on the other hand, just doing very standard uh, Terran build here and needs to get this SCV out so he can start making an orbital command. When that barracks finishes, his timing is actually just about a second or two off there. Anyway, um, my mouse is screwing up. Here we go. Okay, spawning pool down for machine now. These close positions. This hatchery could actually be pretty tough to defend. I like to see things like one base roach. Uh, in these close positions against Terran enemies. You know, Phoenix could actually just go one Rax Expand, he could go 111, he could go Blue Flame Hellions. All of these are very good against Zerg here at these uh, positions on Metalopolis. And it has recently come to my attention that these Root War Zone. Uh, replays. Actually, this is a replay from the first round of the Root War Zone. It's a best of one. Uh, there is actually a loser's bracket, and um, Day 9, actually, at Day 9 TV on YouTube, has actually cast the quarterfinals from this tournament already, but has not done the semis or finals. I know that he was the one who cast them live, so I'm assuming he's going to put those videos up on his channel, so I am probably just going to cast these first round games and leave it at that. I don't want to uh, cast a bunch of games that Day 9 has already got up, especially since he's such a good caster. You guys should go watch them on his channel. Uh, as far as I know, though, most of these round one games still have not been cast, though, so I'm going to go ahead and finish out um, all the rest of these. There's about eight more games uh, for me to cast here, and they're going to get progressively longer. I actually started with the shortest games first uh, so that I could get them out quickly, but now the rest of these games are a pretty good length here, so we'll see what Machine and Phoenix can... Uh, continue to show us here. These Zerglings coming up the ramp. Phoenix not even walled off. Even the attempt to wall off there. SCV goes down. Another SCV. These Zerglings are actually getting quite a lot of kills for their value here. Machine has to be happy with what he's just accomplished and got that Marine kill there at the end. Was not expecting that to actually happen. So Machine able to uh, get this hatchery up without any problems. That bunker there was quickly dealt with, and now two spine crawlers are going down, so he's going to be able to defend that quite nicely. Still working off of one gas here. Has not spent any uh, Vespine yet, not on a lair or Roach Warren, Baneling Nest, Zergling Speed even, so I'm not sure what this uh, one gas is going to actually end up turning into. Now a Hellion is in for Phoenix. He's not going for uh, that tech lab upgrade with the blue flame. Instead, he's just going to go for that starport, go into that 111, and now he's going to start to make, make a command center here in his main so that he can expand. A couple of Zerglings tried to do some spying, but now the ramp is fully walled off, and these two Hellions were easily able to take care of that. Probably going to join their third Hellion brother down here and try to score some drone kills. This spine crawler placement is quite good, though, as this one covers quite a lot of area here at the ramp and the side, and this one covers the drone line very well. The Queen is almost like a mobile spine crawler here, so he's going to be able to block these Hellions from really trying to get in there, and one of them actually is taken out without doing any damage at all. 
two Hellions still left there, and uh, Machine actually did a gas deal on Phoenix's second Assimilator. Not sure when that happened, but I'm surprised that Phoenix hasn't actually been able to take it down yet. Finally, he does have a Marine, a marine there shooting away. Sorry for all these little slip-ups today. I'm not sure what's going on. Machine finally spends some gas here. He's getting his lair up and Zergling speed upgraded, so I'm not sure what he's going to transition into. Now he's working off of two gas. Phoenix still on one gas. This is going to slow him way, way down for this 1-1-1 build. He's adding on two more barracks right now, sort of possibly as a result since he can't actually get any more gas out of here. Uh, he's going to go for some more marine, of, not marine efficient, mineral efficient units. Finally, this Vespin Geyser goes down. Phoenix actually did build one Banshee, so let's take a look at how he's doing. He has zero kills, of course, so far he's not even reached the main base of Machine. He has not researched Cloak at all either, so he's just banking on um, dancing around the only two anti-air units that Machine actually has. That would be both of these Queens. Oh, actually, three anti-air units. Machine doing a good job there preparing for that. Three Queens will not let a Banshee kill anything, and these Hellions are not going to be able to really do anything either. These Speedlings on Creep, of course, will be able to surround them very quickly. Actually, he doesn't even need to wait for them to attack. Uh, Machine gets a great surround on those Hellions without losing a single Zergling. Now he's going to head up to Phoenix's main. This Banshee does peg a, kep a couple of those Zerglings. A lot of Marines here waiting at the ramp, so Machine's not going to be able to poke back up there. Banshee waiting in the middle of the map, able to score a couple more kills. So he's up to four kills on that Banshee. Machine spreading Creep now to the east direction, which is interesting. I'm not sure if he's going to try and take this expansion at some point. That would be quite gutsy, since you have a Terran just on the other side. He's just spreading his creep everywhere, trying to make sure he has good coverage for his speedlings to defend that mineral line. An evolution chamber has come up, but he, I don't think he's actually started to upgrade anything. No, he hasn't. He is getting a spire right now, and he does have a baneling nest up as well, so these speedlings can go ahead and start morphing into banelings at some point, and he will be supported by mutalisks in the near future. Phoenix, on the other hand, finally does have a second gas up. That command center floated over. He has not built any more um, refineries there on those two gas, so that's kind of interesting to me. He has dropped a lot of mules here now, though. Let's check the income. haven't actually taken a look at the worker counts yet this game. Machine is at 50 drones here. Uh, Phoenix at 36 harvesters himself with those mules. You can see the mineral advantage is still there because of those mules, but the gas uh, machine is just way, way ahead there, having four extractors now. The Spaneling Nest is complete, the Spire is complete, Zergling Speed is done, he's not upgrading anything for his ground units, uh, he's just cranking out some Mutalisks for the time being. He's got a ton of money, check this out, 1400 minerals, 700 gas. He can save up and spam Mutalisks if he gets worried, or he can pool this money and um, just decide what he wants to build when he wants to build it. But now it looks like he is building 8 Mutalisks at one time. He's also getting a hatch down way over here on the left side of the map. Very surprising to me. I don't think Phoenix has any idea that this is going on. He is sending an Octo Drop, full, uh, medevac full of uh, Marines right here. That's what it's been termed recently, the Octo Drop, when you've got eight Marines tucked up inside of a medevac. And now he's going to drop all of them to deal with that Zergling. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. But uh, Phoenix is going to start doing some scouting here. There's creep all over this area, so Phoenix won't be able to expand there. Wow! Machines saw this medevac, obviously, as it dropped those uh, Marines to kill that Zergling, and the Mutalisks kill a medevac full of eight marines that's a huge swing for him phoenix has almost no map control at all he's just tucked up inside of his base and now these many many mutalisks here are going to be able to try and take out a reactor um, machine does a little bit of micro there to save the injured mutalisks in the front from being killed but all these marines right here with stim and medevac support will be able to kill a couple of these mutalisks if uh, machine commits too hard so he's probably going to be doing um, a joint effort here with these mutaling and baneling um, units that he's got here. He's probably just going to slam the front, let the mutas go around to the side, maybe even into the mineral line. There are a couple of turrets up, and Phoenix is adding on another barracks now to try and deal with this. He's got plus one weapons just about to finish. Marine, um, machine, not marine, flying around the map now. He's got quite a lot of mutalisks here. This is a substantial amount. He's going to be able to take out this turret extremely quickly uh, and just bounce right back out. No, he doesn't. Okay, he does kill the turret. It burns down there in the last second, but uh, a couple of mutalisks were lost there. Not sure if that was an even trade or not. Um, 
killing one turret, not the biggest deal since Phoenix obviously just immediately started building two more in its place. But uh, that is mineral spent for Phoenix, so Machine can draw attention over to the left side of Phoenix's main instead of to the front of his natural, where it looks like he's uh, positioning himself to attack next. Lots of Marines out now, lots of tanks still sitting here unseaged. That could make a difference if these tanks are unseaged. By the time uh, Machine chooses to attack, it could be very bad for Phoenix not being able to splash all of these lings and mainlings. We'll see what ends up happening. Phoenix is building a command center here on the right side of his natural, right in the front here. If Machine were to attack from this angle, that would be destroyed so easily. That is a bit interesting to me. Uh, Phoenix is actually starting to crawl across the map now. Not sure where this confidence is coming from since he hasn't actually been able to do anything yet this game. But he is sitting at 102 supply. Machine, on the other hand, is at 153. So as long as Machine doesn't waste any units uh, slamming them into the siege tank line, he should be okay here. Phoenix does have upgrade advantage here. He's at 1-0 on these many, many Marines. He's got combat shields, he's got stim pack upgraded, but these Mutalisks are about to receive uh, plus one weapons there. You can see in the production tab. And all these Banelings here just morphing right now. Wow, that is a ton of Banelings. And it's still a lot of Speedlings there to support all these Mutalisks here just ready to go. Phoenix starting to leapfrog just a little bit. He's taking out uh, creep tumors as he can afford the scans. Now the Mutalisks come in and there's no anti-air support here for the front line. All these Marines forced to stim and run up to try and protect their tanks. Only a couple of Mutas even died there. That SCV scout goes down. Machine, that was a good exchange for him as he killed off those two tanks. I believe only lost one Mutalisk. So now he groups up Goes in, kills another tank almost instantly. He's got the plus one attacks now, so these Mutalisks do quite a lot of damage. This single medevac here is going to have his work cut out for him if uh, Machine does actually do a big attack. You know, <laughs> you might want to consider getting some more medevacs out. Uh, he is getting one there, we can see in the production tab, but other than that, just more tanks and marines all the time. He's adding on a factory and two more barracks to even supplement that force. And Machine, just tons and tons of banelings. It's going to be great against these uh, marines if... The Mutalisks can handle the tanks. Oh, Roach is even coming out now to soak some of these uh, tank shots here. And the Banelings just roll up the side. They've got the improved speed. There you can see lots of Marines just eat the dust there. And oh my god, all these Marines. I can't wait to see these explosions. All those Marines get vaporized by the Banelings. This line of Marines, of course, is going to be demolished as well. Phoenix forced to GG as his army was dropped down to a measly 75 and 50 of those were SCVs so Machine basically just bided his time, defended his base, he even expanded a third time here at this main base on the left side of the map. Uh, Machine, I mean Phoenix actually tried to attack it with a few Marines but didn't really get much done there, he killed a few drones but that was about it and um, yeah Machine basically just built up a huge army and rolled over him. Those Banelings of course quite nice against the Marines and the Mutalisks of course very good against that tank line. So good job to Machine, he's gonna move on into the uh, best of three format in the uh, quarterfinals.